Hey girl, welcome. My name is Nadine and in today's video, I'm going to share with you a product haul that I've done and some products that I've picked up over the last few months. So I just want to share that with you because I think it's going to be a fun little video to share. But on this channel, I document my hair journey. I talk about hair care. Um, I share hair styling ideas on myself or my mannequin. Um, I also do product reviews. I haven't done much yet, but in the future I will. Um, so yeah, let's get into the video and I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so the first product is the Cream of Nature Professional Ultra Moisturizing Shampoo for dry, brittle, or color-treated hair. It says that it has certified organic ingredients such as kiwi and citrus, and this comes in a 20 fluid ounce bottle. I paid around $8 for this, and the smell is very pleasing, like a very happy, yummy smell, if that makes sense. The color has like a yellowish, silky tint to it. Organic kiwi and citrus guards dehydration and adds moisture. It also says it gently cleanses and conditions hair, restores moisture balance to dehydrated hair, smooth detangles and give hair a soft, silky feel. It is great for relaxed, natural and weaved hair. I plan on using this moisturizing shampoo on wash days when my hair is not too dirty and feels a little dry. The next product is the Miel Pomegranate Honey Moisturizing and Detangling Shampoo. It says that it cleanses with a rich lather and pre-detangles thick curly type hair. It is sulfate free and it comes in a 12 fluid ounce container. Now. I know this says it is for type 4 hair, but I use it in my son's hair and I absolutely love the smell. And I'm just kind of curious to see how it will work in my relaxed hair. I got this shampoo from Ulta and it costs around $14. The next product is from Herbal Essence Revel in Lush Aromas Deep Moisture for Hair Hello Hydration Shampoo. Woo, that was a mouthful. It has zero parabens and zero uh, mineral oil. It comes in a 29.2 fluid ounce bottle. And on the back it says it is pH balanced and color safe. Apply generously, lather, rinse, and follow with herbal essence conditioner. The next product is from the Cream of Nature line. It contains argan oil from Morocco. This is the Plex Breakage Defense Restoring Shampoo. It is the second step in a three-step process. The first step is the Bond Mender Pre-Treatment, and the third step would be the Restoring Conditioner. This product moisturizes and nourishes and removes impurities and buildup. And as I mentioned before, it says that it is a three-step system that reinforces weak and brittle bonds to strengthen hair against breakage and damage. Okay, so on to the conditioners. The first one is the Herbal Essence Conditioner. You know, I've already showed you the shampoo for this conditioner, so the specs on this product is basically the same. It has zero parabens, zero mineral oil, and it comes in a 29.2 fluid ounce bottle. And you know, the scent is about the same. It's like a clean, fresh scent. And I got this conditioner along with the shampoo from Walmart. Next is the Pantene Pro-V conditioner. It says that it is smooth and sleek. It has zero parabens, um, colorants, and no weight down. It also says that it has a 72 hour frizz control. It comes in a 25 fluid ounce bottle. And on the back it says that it is hard working and long lasting, lasting frizz control. The next product is the ORS conditioner and ORS stands for Original Root Stimulator. This product is a replenishing conditioner and it claims that it is strengthened, that it strengthens and nourishes. It says that it is formulated without sulfates and mineral oil and parabens. It also says that it is infused with sweet orange oil for revitalizing moisture. It helps restore dry, damaged hair, and it comes in a 12.2 
five fluid ounce bottle. This product smells absolutely amazing. It has a yummy, pleasant citrus smell and I cannot wait to try this product. So let's go in the back. It says the ORS has olive oil strengthen and nourish replenishing conditioner and it combines the power of nourishing olive oil with revitalizing sweet orange oil for a for a double dose of moisture it says that it helps replenish moisture and repair damage to hair it leaves hair soft tangle free and more manageable this product is good for natural relaxed and color treated hair the direction says after shampooing with ORS olive oil moisture restore creamy aloe shampoo apply a generous amount to hair and comb through even distribution for best results place a plastic cap over the hair and sit under warm dryer for 10 to 15 minutes or leave on the hair for 40 minutes to one hour without heat and then after that you rinse thoroughly the next product is the cream of nature ultra moisturizing conditioner this product has mango and shea butter and let me tell you this smells absolutely amazing so it says it is for dehydrated hair and it has certified natural ingredients it comes in a 12 fluid ounce bottle and on the back it says Pamper your hair with cream of nature ultra moisturizing shampoo with certified natural mango and shea butter. This formula deeply moisturizes and soften hair while adding shine. The direction says after shampooing with cream of nature mango and shea butter ultra moisturizing shampoo, apply a generous amount to hair and comb through for even distribution and rinse and style. For deeper conditioning, after applying the conditioner, proceed with hair steaming or sit under the hood dryer with plastic cap for five to 10 minutes. The bottle also mentions that the mango conditions and protects while the shea butter moisturizes and softens the hair. This product is good for 12 months after opening. The next product is the Miel Pomegranate and Honey Moisturizing and Detangling Conditioner. So I've already showed you the shampoo that goes with this conditioner. So this product was made for type 4 natural hair and it says that it deeply hydrates, conditions and silkens thick curly type hair. It works awesome on my son's natural hair but I'm so curious to see how it works in my relaxed hair. Now, I absolutely love, 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 love this product. It is the Aussie 3 Minute Miracle Moist Deep Conditioner and it has avocado and a hobo, a hobo oil in it. It is paraben free and it comes in a eight ounce uh, bottle. On the bottom, as you can see here, it has the opening where the product comes out from. And on the sides, it has these little grooves, these outlines going along the sides, on both sides. So this is good for when you're grasping the product so you can squirt the, the product without it slipping. So on the back of the bottle, it says that They've infused avocado and add jojoba oil into their nourishing three minute miracle formula that you know you get three times moisture in just three minutes versus an ordinary conditioner. I've used this deep conditioner before and I must say that I absolutely love it and I keep going back to it so this is a product that I'll keep repurchasing. Next product is the As I Am Hydration Elation Intensive Conditioner. This product has coconut, sugarcane, green tea, apple, lemon, vegetable glycerin, shea butter, and vitamin E girl. It comes in an eight ounce bottle. And this product is geared toward natural hair, but I've used it before and you know, I loved it. 
On the back, the direction says after cleansing, distribute products throughout the hair and leave on 15 to 30 minutes wearing a plastic cap. After removing cap, add a bit of water and carefully detangle with conditioner remaining in the hair and then rinse thoroughly. This product has a shelf life of 12 months after opening. Next product is the Mazzani 25 Miracle Milk Leave-In. It says that it's for all hair types on the bottle. It says that it has a nourishing blend of fennel seed oil and sustainably sourced coconut oil. It comes in an eight fluid ounce bottle. And on the back, it lists 25 benefits. And I'm just gonna read them right now. The first is, it is a nourishing leave-in conditioner, lightweight results, it controls flyaways, re reduces dryness, helps condition transition in hair, adds smoothness, aids in restoring softness, gives a silky touch, helps control frizz, helps protect hair while brushing, helps prevent heat damage, helps shield against external aggressors, helps prevent split ends, um, improves manageability, primes hair for styling, helps seal the cuticle, ideal cutting lotion, helps even out porous hair, improves quality of relaxed hair, detangles, make blow drying easier as shine, safe for color treated hair, style refreshener, and it gives instant results. And the direction says apply to clean damp hair and comb through prior to styling. So this is the Mazzani 25 Miracle Milk Leave-In. Next product is the Heritage by Mindy McKnight. It is a deep moisture and restore conditioner. It, it provides a deep hydration and rejuvenates the hair. It, it says that it is SLS and SLES free and it is ethylate free, hope I pronounced that right, and paraben free, gluten free, mineral oil free, color safe, cruelty free, and it is vegan. And this product comes in a 13 fluid ounce bottle and it has a real pretty kind of fruity smell and the color of this is like a dusty pink on the back of this container it says sos is a deeply penetrating conditioner for thick curly coily hair that provides intense hydration volume and rejuvenation for those weak and damaged strands and it mentions your thirsty hair will thank you okay how to use Dispense a generous amount of product depending on the length of thickness of your hair and apply to wet hair and massage starting at the ends and work up to your scalp for three to five minutes before rinsing thoroughly. Okay, next is the Plex Breakage Defense from Cream of Nature. It is the restoring conditioner. It is step three in the three-step system. It moisturizes and improves appearance of dry damaged strands. It has castor oil and argon oil. It says that it reinforces weak and brittle bonds to strengthen hair against breakage and damage. This product comes in a 12 fluid ounce bottle. This next conditioner is from Dark and Lovely and it is a blowout system. It is a moisture treat deep conditioner. It says that it moisturized without weighing down hair. It says that it is a blowout system that prevents damage and replenishes hair with lasting moisture. It also provides the hair against less frizz up to 97% humidity, and it has a heat protection up to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. It says that it has silk protein, shea butter, and castor oil. It also says it contains no parabens, no petroleum, no sulfates. This next product is the Lusters S Curl No Drip Curl Activator Moisturizer. 
and it says on the bottle that it contains no mineral oil um, it comes in a 12 fluid ounce bottle on the back it says the s curl no drip curl activator and moisturizer should be used daily to eliminate frizz um, condition it softens and strengthen natural curly hair um, it contains botanical conditioning agents including argan oil and olive oil as well as the vitamins that strengthen helps to reduce the risk of breakage and gives your hair a naturally healthy sheen um, and it never leaves the hair with a greasy feel this product is the hair mayonnaise by africa's best it says that it is formulated with extra virgin olive oil and it has a natural herbs and egg protein it is a treatment for weak damaged hair and it comes in a 15 ounce bottle you know it has a very strong smell it is smooth in texture and has a yellow color as you can see on the back it says massage a generous amount of hair mayonnaise evenly into the hair from roots to ends leave on hair for one minute and then rinse thoroughly with lukewarm water for optimal conditioning apply then cover hair with a plastic cap leave on for 10 minutes then remove cap and rinse hair thoroughly with lukewarm water hmm is it just me or do you think one minute is such a little time to leave this product on the hair then rinse I don't know let me know um, so I'll be using this product when I feel like my hair needs some strengthening so this would be a protein treatment I'll be leaving it in for a minimum of 10 minutes and then I'll follow up with a deep conditioner treatment to add that moisture balance to my hair next product is the meal deep conditioner it has babusu and mint in it it says that it is a protein slash moisture replenisher for dry and damaged hair it is to restore protein and balance for all hair types it comes in a eight um, ounce bottle it definitely has a strong smell and i could smell that mint in it it is runny in consistency as you can see on the back it states our baboso oil mint deep conditioner infuses hair with protein and moisture to restore dry and damaged hair baboso oil is derived from an amazonian palm fruit that is high in sterols and tocopherols to improve hair and scalp um, our products is enriched with fatty acids and natural oils that help reduce frizz and flyaways this deep penetrating conditioner is made with complex amino acids from wheat soy and other natural ingredients that help restore moisture to damage and dry hair safe to use on color treated hair and made with certified organic ingredients the direction says apply deep conditioner to clean damp hair from roots to tip and then cover with plastic cap for 15 minutes for an intense treatment sit on the dryer for 30 minutes rinse hair with cool water style as desired the next product is from design essentials and it is the almond avocado wash day deep moisture mask it is made for curly and coily hair but again i never know until i tried it just might work for my relaxed hair right i will just use it sparingly um so the smell is faint and not too overbearing right on the back it states design essentials almond and avocado wash day deep moisture mask is a highly penetrating moisture treatment infused with the nourishing properties of almond and avocado to strengthen and soften hair reducing breakage and making wash day detangling a breeze this replenishing mask works wonders on dry hair the direction says for after shampooing apply a palm size amount um, from roots to ends and comb through with a wide tooth comb um, leave in for up to 15 minutes sit under a dryer for maximum penetration and rinse thoroughly with cool water repeat weekly for optimal results 
This is the TGIN Honey Miracle Hair Mask with raw honey and olive oil. It comes in a 12 ounce bottle. I'm not really a fan of the smell of this product. Um, when I opened the container and I looked at the product, it reminds me of mashed potatoes. I don't know. The Design Essential Wash Day Deep uh, Moisture Mask has the consistency of like a hand cream versus this Honey Miracle Hair Mask that has a mashed potato vibe going. <laughs> don't laugh. That's the best way I could describe it. On the back it states, after shampooing with TGI and Moisture Rich, a sulfate free shampoo and conditioning with TGI and Triple Moisture Replenishing Conditioner. Apply a generous amount of TGI and um, Honey Miracle Hair Mask to hair and comb through to ensure thorough distribution from roots to ends. Place a plastic cap over here and sit under the dryer for 10 to 15 minutes or leave on the hair for 30 minutes to one hour without heat. Rinse thoroughly with warm water followed by cold water. Next product is the Nairobi Rapid Shine Foam and Lotion. On the bottle, it says that it creates waves, it scrunches, it conditions, and it is fast drying. It is non-flaky. Um, it adds a body and it's good for wet setting. It comes in an eight ounce bottle. And as you can see, the liquid is blue in color and the smell of it is okay. Um, before using this product, it needs to be shaken well before dispensing the product. The product has a sud like appearance and feels wet to the touch. On the back it says, this product creates no dull white film, um, effortless comb outs, no hardening of hair, no hard breakage, no comb and discomfort. It has a fantastic silky sheen. That's what it says. Next is this hair mousse for relaxed hair. It is enriched with avocado and wheat proteins. And it says that it is ideal for relaxed, chemically treated hair. It adds moisture and body. It is alcohol free and it comes in a 12 ounce bottle. Before using this product, it needs to be shaken well. And after the product is dispensed, it is white and foamy, not as watery or sudsy like the foaming lotion like I showed you before. Again, I'll be trying out some styles on my mannequins here using this product. The next product is from the Cream of Nature line and it is the Intensive Conditioning Treatment. It comes in a 20 fluid ounce bottle. On the back it says this moisturizing formula strengthens helps restore dry damaged hair and prevent breakage while detangling and adding exotic shine. This is the Bond Mender Pre-Treatment. It is the first step in a three-step system. This product claims to reinforce weak bonds and helps fill in fragile strands. I've used this once before, but I've not yet formed an opinion on it, so I would have to use it again, and I'll let you know what I think of it. Next is the Wild Growth Hair Oil, and it comes in four fluid ounce bottle. The instructions on the back says shake well, but no need to remix occasional dark sediment. Apply sparingly throughout entire hair and scalp. Observe results daily, gradually increasing frequency from once a week to three times per week over the course of the first month. After, maintain a light coating of moisture throughout hair and scalp by applying an average of three times per week. I've used this product a few times already and I must say that I've experienced a slight itching sensation on my scalp. Next are the heat protecting sprays and these are some sample size products I picked up when I went to Ulta some time back. So the first one is from Silk Elements Mega Silk Olive um, Heat Protecting Spray. It is good on relaxed and natural hair types and it is good for dry hair. It reduces frizz while uh, smoothing hair and helps protect from damage. The second one is from the brand BTZ Beyond the Zone. Um, the third one is the Strength and Silk with coconut 
and a fourth is the Argan Oil Heat Protector. Next product is Heritage by Mindy McKnight Play It Cool Heat Protecting Spray. Uh, it says it conditions and hydrates while protecting against heat and it is sulfate free. It is phthalate free, paraben free, silicone free, gluten free, mineral oil free, color safe, cruelty free and vegan. And it comes in a six fluid ounce bottle and it protects hair up to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. I also picked up this oil. It is a weightless healing dry oil and it is good to tame flyaways and frizzies. This heat shield primer mist work together in a system to create a sleep blowout and it is from Dark and Lovely. I also picked up this color for my grays by Dark and Lovely. I ordered this three-way mirror from Amazon and I absolutely love it. Every girl needs this mirror, okay? You can hang it on the door or place it on any flat surface. You can even fold it um, one side in and then sit it down on a table while having like the other mirror positioned at a 90 degrees angle, if you know what I mean. I picked up these two winter headbands at Walmart from the brand Time and True in the colors green and gray and they are so cute. I love the little design at the front. This silicone line headband, I saw this at my local beauty supply store and so I picked it up. I have a little project in mind that I want to try out and I'll keep you posted on that. This is an elastic wig band with Velcro and I'm also going to try this out in a little project I have in mind. This is a large tooth comb from the brand Diane. Some hair pins from Con Hair. Some thick hair ties. A large rat tail comb from the brand Red. It says that it is heat resistant up to 460 degrees Fahrenheit and it is anti-frizz and anti-static. These small teeth comb for the chasing method when flat ironing my hair. I was in Walmart and I saw these shoelace hair ties and I had to pick them up. Aren't they so adorable? They're from the brand Heritage by Mindy McKnight and I plan on using them around my ponytail when I'm doing my ponytail. I also picked up this satin day and night cap by the brand Red from my local beauty supply store and on the back it says that it is a premium silky satin and it has breathable double layer and it has a comfy elastic band and it stays on all night which I need and it holds the style and retains moisture. This mesh cap for keeping hair out of my face and some snap-on magnetic rollers and there's two different types. I just want to show you quickly the two different types I picked up. One is smooth on the surface and the other has like a small tiny teeth around the surface of the roller and this is to help the hair stay in place. Okay and that is it. I hope you enjoyed this little haul I had today. Please comment below and tell me which product you think is interesting or which one you think you're going to go and pick up and try or whatever else that's on your mind. Comment below and I'll talk to you in the comments.